Hello. Good morning. Well, it's morning here anyway. Right, if you see me look down like this, it's because I'm using a new bit of kit. I'm just going to put my camera on my shoulder. Because I'm using a new bit of kit. I've bought a DJI Osmo 2, or Osmo Pocket 2, which is like a little vlogging camera, really lightweight. And, uh, and this piece here, you can see, you might see a piece of red paracord or fire or flame paracord around my neck. And that's because when I went out the other day to this place, my wireless mic fell off. And it, weren't because, it was only because we walked back the same way I actually found it. So I've uh, put a safety strap on it. That's what that piece of red paracord is. Clever and I. Santa's idea. Anyway, so we are today going for a walk around a beautiful wetland RSPB bird reserve. It's called Bowers Gifford bird reserve and it's off of uh, it's in Pitsy but, uh, off of Basildon so Pitsy Basildon Bowers Gifford that's where we are today it's a massive wetland site massive wetland site uh, it takes about four hours to walk around a circular path so we was told we haven't been here before one of my old mates John Scrivy told me about it ages ago forgot all about it and then we was walking around Another RSPB reserve, which is about 10 minutes from my house. And two gentlemen said, have you been over at Bowers Gifford? No. I said, do you want to go over there? Because there's loads of really good stuff over here. And there's a bird over here that I want to see. So we're going to have a look. Anyway, so we thought we'd take you for a little walk today. And uh, I'll show you what we see. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll catch up with you in a bit. What you're looking at there is slow bush or blackthorn bush and there's slow berries and in this area a lot of field fairs and red wings winter thrushes and they'll eat them and the thing about these berries are if you look at them closely they've got like a blue bloom on them it's like a like a blue sheen and that reflects ultraviolet light and a bird see in ultraviolet light and they can see these glowing up like little stars from miles away well not miles away but from a long way away so that's where they know their food is they like the red berries oh there's a heron flying past there I don't know if you can see that I don't know if you can see that there it is Miss Sammy, has she seen it? Yeah, so that's how they locate their food. Red wings and field fairs. I'll put a couple of pictures up, show you what they look like.
these signs are to be taken note of. Because when we come here the other day, there was people walking their dogs around here. It's an RSPB bird watching centre or area. There's plenty of parks around here. And stop hanging your dog poo bags and throwing them in the edge. Idiots. Grab over, thank you. Can anyone guess what I'm looking for yet? I'm 
I'm not going to say because I probably won't see one. <laughs> well, I won't. Sammy will. He's got bloody eyes like a hawk. Okay, what we're looking for now, we've just seen something called flagging. Not art flagging behind. But if you're looking for birds or wildlife in long grass or reeds, keep your eye on the tops and the tips of the grass. Just zone in on the tips of the grass and the reeds. And then you'll see an unusual movement and you'll know where whatever it is you're looking for, that's where it is. Now we've just seen this movement down here. I got really, really excited because I thought it was what I was looking for. Crushed Sammy's hand in the process. But Sammy the spotter tells me it's a reed bunting. But yeah, flagging. Just watch for the movement of the tips. Because if you very slightly move a reed at the bottom, by the time it gets to the top, it's really accentuated the movement. It's a good little tip for spotting wildlife, especially birds in reeds. Spoke to a nice chap on a cycle, on a bicycle. If you're watching this, mate, thanks very much for the tip off. Just give us a few tips on some birds over here. So he's obviously a local birder, very nice chap too. And uh, points in the direction of something that doesn't usually come over here. It's a Brent goose. I'll stick a, vi I'll stick a link up to the video I took over coal house fault with a flock of Brent geese. But they're apparently they're not too common over here. Uh, there's two Canada and the Brent's just behind them so I'll see if I can give you a I'll get you a little bit of footage and a, and a photograph so it comes out it's quite a way away but I've got the 600 mil on here today f4 600 mil Canon L series lens on the R5 but I've also got the 1.4 converter on because I know things over here are generally a long 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 way away so I think it's about 840, 840, 860 mil range, distance, focal length, whatever you want to call it. So that's quite a distance, quite a good range. With the old R5, bit of a crop, you can get him really, really close. So I'll give it a go. And I uh, hope you like a little bit of footage so you can have a little look. And thanks very much, mate. Thanks for pointing us in the right direction. Really appreciated.
full of Canada geese there. Uh, I think they have sheep in this field because there's brambles everywhere with a lot of, lot of wool in them. Let's show you. Much to Sammy's enjoyment because she likes a bit of wool. So yeah, it's a lot of wool. And this would be a fantastic place to come and sit and watch the birds collecting nesting materials. So I think we'll actually come back to this area because it's down a little bit of a, there's some more over there. I think you see the brambles along the edge of that over there. It goes all the way along that field. Literally, I can see wool as far as the eye can see. Sammy would be back over here collecting it all for her. Uh, she does felting and crafts and crocheting and stuff. Very clever. But yeah, we stand this like little gateway with like a little river going underneath it, a little part of the fenland. But yeah, I think we come back over this bit, it's good. Anyway, onwards and upwards. If I get a photograph of this thing, if you haven't seen one, it's a DJI Pocket or Osmo Pocket 2. It's quite good, but you've got to really resist looking at the little little screen. Anyway, yeah, it's quite nice over here. We've walked, I don't know, two thirds of the way round so far. Been out for about an hour and a half walking round. Nice wetlands. But, um, yeah, not seen many people over here, which is good. Don't like it too peoply. In this part we're on now, there's no dogs allowed, unfortunately. For a dog walker, fortunate for a bird watcher, because after all it is an RFPB reserve. And I will bring my dogs over here barking and shouting and hollering. So, yeah, it's quite nice. So what else we can see, seen quite a bit. And, uh, a nice walk. they're not supposed to be doing over here we've sported for everyone and you can't go in there so I hope a swarm of uh, gnats infest you private parts and uh, a load of sparrows pick your eyes out there you go so it's nice over there alright so this is the end of the circular walk Really, it comes all the way round and comes out down the road from the church at the actual gate to the centre. So we've pretty much done it. There we go. Fly tipping is in a fence. CCTV. There you go, there you are. These. There he is. No, it ain't. So yeah, we just stopped. And we heard and then saw a Setis, Chetties, Setties, Chetties warbler fly across the road into a bush. Gone. Right, I hope you like that little video. It was RSPB Bowers Marsh. 
in Pitsy. So basically, if you head towards Pitsy Crematorium, it's a little mini roundabout, you turn into where the crematorium road is, get to the end of that road, do a left, and drive all the way down to the bottom, and that's where the bird reserve is down there. It's quite a trot um, to walk round it. It's about two and a half hours, nice steady walk. You can't actually get a, like a disabled scooter or push a, a wheelchair around it because you've got them kissing gates. So I'm not too sure if you get one through there, but it's a nice walk, nice steady walk, nice surfaces, nice flat paths, and uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. So we're off now for a cup of tea and a slice of Sammy's bread pudding. Lovely. Anyway, you take care, stay safe, stay sane, and I'll catch you soon. If there's any of that video where I'm staring at the screen and not this camera, then uh, you can tell me off in the comments below. <laughs> catch you later. Ta-da. So I don't know if this audio's come out. We just popped down to Watt Tyler Park on the way back from Bowers Marsh. As per the video, I'm right in the middle of the frame on that beam. Believe it or not, it's a peregrine falcon with a kill. I'll get some photographs. I hope this audio's come out because I haven't bothered putting a, just got out just for a look round. Heard a call from a peregrine falcon, which we know very well. Looked up and there it is. There it is. I'll see if I can get some pictures. They're going to be a mile away though. So yeah, that's, um, I'm now on my phone, I was on my, uh, on my R5, the 600mm, if you look right ahead of you there, that's where the, you see you've got the t first two platforms there, and then up, it's just took off, it's just, it's just come away, it's just flying away, it's got prey. Yeah, so it's just took off and flown away. That was quite good, good little spot. Thought I'd show you, stick a couple of pictures up. Little peregrine falcon short. Happy days.